Hello everyone, my name is Cody Burke, and welcome to a tutorial on getting started with Poser and Lightwave. I went ahead and installed all the, the Poser content, but I would just like to discuss a few things with you guys first. So obviously you want to install the Poser.exe file, and make sure that along with that you also install all the content that Poser comes with. Poser comes with uh, hair, different poses, all the figures, all the people, all the clothes that the people wear. So make sure you get all that installed. The next thing you want to install is Poser Fusion. Now Poser Fusion is similar to GoZ for ZBrush, except it allows you to open up .pz3 files, which is a Poser file, directly into layout. So go ahead and get that installed and make sure that when it asks you to locate Lightwave during that installation process, you pick the Lightwave folder in your program files which would be a new tech folder. Now, the first time that you load a .pz3 file into layout, you're going to be prompted by a window asking you for your name and your Poser Fusion serial number. After you enter that in, make sure that you locate the poser.exe file. It's going to ask you to find that. Now, this is very important because you want to make sure that you do not locate the Poser Fusion application file. Because if you do that, it will not load your scenes into layout. So make sure you locate the poser.exe application file. So now that we got that covered, let's jump right into Poser and get started. This is the main interface for Poser with the default figure loaded in. His name is Andy2. And I just want to discuss how to navigate through your interface, or through your 3D world, I should say. So on your left hand side, these controls control the camera. Down at the bottom, we have these four arrows that are, look like they're on top of a ball. If we left click, you can see that I am rotating or orbiting our camera. Up from that, we have four hands pointing in different directions, which is the zoom tool. And then we have the hands pointing up and down that translate the camera on the y-axis. If you click on this head here and keep clicking on it, you can see that it's alternating through different camera views, all the orthographic views. To get back to the main camera, just select this arrow and choose main camera. What I want to do now is show you guys how to load in a poser model, put some clothes and some hair on it, and also put a walk cycle on him or her, and then get that directly into layout. So first, I want to select this figure, Go up to the figure menu and choose delete. Are you sure you want to delete the current figure, Andy2? Yes. Okay, so what Poser comes with under window and libraries is a library full of a whole bunch of content. And that's why I said to make sure that you install all the content that Poser comes with. If we hover over each of these icons, you can see that it tells us what the icons represent. So right now we're under figures. Let's go ahead and load in a character. I'm going to go to People, and I'm going to come down to Jesse, and let's choose the first Jesse right here. To load it into our scene, we just double click on it. Okay, so the first thing you notice is that, yes, yeah, she's naked. So we do need to add some clothes to her. So again, let me bring up that library window, and we're going to come over to the hair icon, go to Poser Pro, choose People, and just find Jesse Hair, and you have a whole bunch of different options to choose from. And I'm going to go with the, let's see here, the Ponytail Jesse Blonde. So rather than double clicking on this to load it into the scene, what I'm going to do is left click and drag it onto the head. Apply hair to Jessica. And you can see that we have the hair on top of our character. So now let's put some clothes on her. And the clothes are going to be located under props, Poser Pro 2012. And let's come down to clothing, find Jesse. And let's see what we have to work with here. Okay, let's put some jeans on her first. 
So for these, I'm just going to double click. But one thing you notice is that they're not conformed to our character. They're not following the shape of Jesse's legs. So let's select a part of the pants, come up to figure, go to conform to, and choose Jessica. And hit OK. And now you can see that those pants are now snapped to the curvature of her legs. So now let's put a shirt on her. And this one will work fine. So again, we're going to double click on this. All right. And let's just select a part of the shirt and come up to figure, conform to. And again, let's conform that to Jessica. So now, once we start making our character walk, this will ensure that our clothes follows uh, the deforming parts of her body. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, and let's go to Figure and choose Create Walk Path. Now this is really cool because you can see that along our walk path we have these vertex points. And if you left click on those, you can actually alter the, the path that she's going to walk in. So I'm just going to leave mine right about there. And then let's come up to Window and open up Poser's Walk Designer. Let's just give it some time to initiate. Now this is really fun. So I just want to select a part of uh, Jesse's foot here. All right. And let's hit Walk. So with the default settings applied, you can see that this is how our character would be walking if we chose Apply Now. But you can tweak all these settings and you know make them look cool or cool and elderly. You know you can just have a lot of fun with these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just make her walk elderly because I think it looks really funny. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and choose Apply. And I want Jessica to follow our path that we made. And I'm going to check a line head to the next sharp turn. And our end frame is going to be 267. And we're going to create the keyframes in a new animation layer. So all that's fine. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And X out of the walk designer. And the library window. So now, if I click play, give me a second. You can see that Jessica now has the same walk applied that we chose in the walk designer. And the pants are conforming to her body and the hair is following her head, so all looks good. Now what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to get this into layout. And it's so easy. All we have to do is go to File, choose Save As, and I'm going to save it on the desktop as Jessica, and just hit Save. Now let's launch Layout, and hit the 4 key to go into the Perspective view. So this is LightWave's Layout. Now for Poser Fusion, to install those plugins, what you have to do, and I already did this, but you go to the Utilities tab, and you choose Add Plugins. Now this is why when Poser Fusion asks you to locate LightWave, you choose Program Files, New Tech Folder, LightWave 11, and in the bin folder, you'll have a plugins folder with PZR for Lightwave, Poser for Lightwave. Click on that, and then what you're going to do is select that plugin and choose Open. But I already did that, so I'm just going to cancel it. And then down here, under Current Item, you'll see that it's going to say three plugins have been successfully added. So once that is completed, you can simply go to File, choose Load Scene, under Desktop, and choose all files and locate Jessica and now hit open. Poser scene conversion. I'm just going to leave the message general polygons and hit continue. Let's hit the 4 key to come back out to the perspective window. So if I just scrub through the timeline you can see that we have the same exact walk inside of layout that we generated using the walk designer in Poser. And what's really cool is if we go into the surface editor under figure one and we just choose head for example and under the color tab we choose the texture editor window you can see that we have all the UVs 
for every part of Jessica's body, her clothes, her hair. So you use texture. So that's all really cool. And if we go into the camera view by hitting the six key, come back to frame zero, and T for, I'm sorry, undo that. Switch to camera under current item, T for move, and let's just take a look at this hair here. So if we switch to VPR, which is our viewport render, you can see that even the hair comes in just fine, directly from Poser. And we can move away here, and all the textures look good. So I'm just going to back out to Texture Shaded Solid, and hit the 4 key to go into the perspective view. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on getting started with Poser and Lightwave. They are both great um, software packages to use uh, with one another. Uh, like I said, you know, this was very easy to set up. We just applied the clothes and conformed them to Jessica's body, and we did not even have to conform the hair to her. And honestly, just with saving it out and simply loading it into layout, we have everything that we created inside of Poser. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and make sure to have fun with this.